Hi everyone, Slippery Slope here, and welcome to your fourth Java tutorial. And this is going to be the first tutorial of many in which we program together. Uh, before I begin, I want to make a couple points. Uh, one is that uh, a lot of your professors or teachers or whatever the heck they want to be called are going to prefer that you write your programs in something like Notepad. That's really their problem and not yours. You can really easily just make it in Eclipse and then compile it at command line if you prefer, not that you really have to, but just to make sure that it runs normally on the command line the way uh, any other program would, not just because it was made in Eclipse, but that you got the same product. Uh, you can do that if you want to, but don't, don't stress too much about it. You're going to want to use Eclipse. There's no reason for you not to. Uh, another point and I forgot to mention this before, um, you see how I have these numbers enabled by the actual, let's just call it our text field where we enter our uh, program, we enter our code. Uh, you can turn those numbers on if, if you don't already have them enabled. So what you want to do is you want to go to Window, and from there you want to go to Preferences, just right down here. And once you're in Preferences, you want to go to General, click that uh, little arrow right there, and go to Editors. Yes, I remember that correctly. And Text Editors. And from Text Editors, we want to find the Show Line Numbers box. Hey, wait a minute. Where is my show? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, no. Where is it? There it is. See? You want to find that Show Line Numbers checkbox. And uh, you want to make sure that's clicked. Mine already is. And once you do that, you want to hit Apply or OK. I would hit Apply just to be safe. And uh, yeah, I get to click Cancel because mine's already enabled. Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's roll. When you start to make your program, you are going to not just want to have a class file, but you kind of need to have a class file right here ending in .java. Without this class, you don't have a container. You have nothing. I don't really know how you could begin to type anything concerning a program without a class file. So maybe it's kind of a silly point for me to even bring that up, but you absolutely need to have a class file. So yeah, all Java programs need to have a main method, and that's what we're going to write out right now. Public static void main no string args. Oh no, I did it wrong. What am I going to do? You don't type in no there, silly. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see, is a lot of people type in no before string args, and I guess it's because we're not passing in any other specific parameter information right now or anything, so they just type in no. You don't need to type in no. Just type in that. And I know, and if I was in your case right now, I'd feel the same way. Public, static, void, main, string, args, these two things? What's going on? What did you just type up? What does this all mean? Every single word that I just type means something. It's public, static, void, all those keywords mean something. And unfortunately, I don't really have the time to go over this right now. If I did, uh, this thing would run on, so let's not do that. I think, well, I know, <laughs> because if I didn't know this, then I couldn't begin to teach anyone how to do any job at all. You need a main method. Your computer, your CPU, however you want to put it is going to go hunting. It's going to go looking for that main method. If you don't have a main method, let's type in a Jolly Ranchers. Well, there's no error that went along with it right now, but uh, you don't want that. And uh, because I know better, I'm just going to get rid of that right now as much as I like Jolly Ranchers. You don't, you don't need that. You don't want that. Let's just have this main method right there. Yeah. Well, we already went over method headers previously, so let's not do that again. Um, this isn't going to surprise you, but a method header, which is what this is, and a class header, which is what this is, our good friend uh, Mr. Dumble right here. Um, <laughs> get ready. What the heck am I typing? 
What does this all mean? What's up with that? Blah, 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 blah. And why the heck did I type in this at the end of the semicolon? That's the silly man. This... We got, like, a method body? What's going on? Why do we have a method body? Well, it's because we need a method header and a method body in order to constitute a method. <laughs> Gee, I, 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 can't, I can't believe I just came up with that one. Well, your method body, that's your substance. That's your stuff. That's the inner structure. I mean, without it, I just have, like, this one method header, and it's just silly and worthless and stuff. So, yeah, there you go. Class header, method header, method body. Before I start rambling on and on, how about I run this thing and see what happens? You want to click uh, this green circle here with the arrow button? Hmm, no errors. Click OK. Blah, 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 blah. It ran, and then it terminated. It's done. It's over with. It ran properly. I could go over this, and I will <laughs> let you know what the heck is system.out.println even means. It prints a line to console to your uh, uh, to your computer, and um, we're going to go over that in a later tutorial. But all I want you to take away from this one, oh, I'm so selfish, <laughs> is class header, method header. These this isn't the way you're going to want to write all method headers, but for now, for this one, for our next at least several tutorials this way, our method body and squiggly lines to enclose our method and squiggly lines to enclose our class. That's about it. You did it. See you next time where we will, in which, where's it where? Darn it, I should have done better in English class. Uh, we will go over... Um, the naming conventions of variables, methods, and classes. Thanks, guys, for sticking around. Leave a comment if you have anything else you want to add. See ya.